Hey, Vinyl Community and Rolling Stones fans. I'm going to do an unboxing today. I just got this over the weekend. I had the first installment in this box set series. I believe it was one of two. And they just came out with the second one this past Friday. This is the Rolling Stones. And there are seven inch singles, 1966 to 1971 very handsome box set like i say i've got the 1963 to 1966 check out my video my unboxing for that one if you're interested so you open it up and there's a little card in here with some postcards from the time Actually, these all look to be from 1969. So, very cool there. And then there's a poster, which I'm not going to unfold all the way, but you can kind of get the idea. It's like a poster of 1969-era Stones with Mick Taylor. Then there's a little booklet that comes with it. That talks about all the singles releases, has some promo artwork, posters and whatnot. And then just all the information about the tracks themselves. Paint it black. And I believe it was Sad Day, which is on the flip side of this. Um, no. Sorry, Stupid Girl. Then the U.S. version of, or I'm sorry, the U.K. version of Paint It Black with Long Long While as the B-side. Mother's Little Helper with Lady Jane. Have you seen your mother, baby, standing in the shadows? I always thought that was a cool picture. Let's spend the night together and Ruby Tuesday. And then the singles only release, We Love You, and Dandelion, yep. And She's a Rainbow with 2,000 Light Years from Home. To me, almost as great a single as Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane. Then Bill Wyman's In Another Land, which of course was released, taken off the Satanic Majesty's Request album. And then The Lantern is the B-side. And then one of my favorite Rolling Stone 7-inch covers, the one for Jumpin' Jack Flash, with Child of the Moon on the flip side. Street Fighting Man with no expectations. Both of those obviously were off Beggar's Banquet. Honky Tonk Women with You Can't Always Get What You Want. I can't believe they threw this on a B-side before Let It Bleed came out. I don't know if they didn't have intentions of putting it on Let It Bleed or whatever, but it does not have the choir opening, so it's a more... I guess, straightforward version. And then this was a single, it was taken from the movie performance that Mick Jagger uh, was in. This is Memo from Turner. And then you have a Ry Cooter song on the flip side, Natural Magic. Then this has Street Fighting Man, Surprise, Surprise, and Everybody Needs Someone to Love. I think this was after the Rolling Stones ended 
uh, their contract with Abco. They just started throwing releases together to kind of milk their catalog. This is Brown Sugar and Wild Horses. I don't know, try a little harder. Again, this is one of those Abco releases. Uh, I don't know if that was to promote the Metamorphosis album, Morphosis album, uh, or this one either. Out of Time with Jiving Sister Fanny. Then another Honky Tonk Women, and this one has Sympathy for the Devil. Actually, this has Sympathy for the Devil as the A side, and then Honky Tonk Women as the B side. And then the very last one they have her, I'm not sure this even needed to be included, but whatever. Uh, so it's Sympathy for the Devil. It's a remix. I've not listened to this yet. And then you've got on the A side, Neptune's remix, and then B, Fat Boy Slim remix. I don't know, whatever. They had to pad it out somehow, I suppose. But anyway, that's the box set. Uh, very cool. Uh, looking forward to getting an opportunity to actually spin these. Uh, but really well done, as was the first one as well. So I'm glad that I've got all these 7-inch singles now in a very handsome box set. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.